talk of Richmond Heights. Who is the prankster parking pink flamingos on Yale Avenue? Ace Ventura pet detective was unavailable, so we had Art Holiday look into the case of the front yard flamingos. Well, Mike, forget everything you thought you knew about plastic flamingos. They're pink, they're proliferating on Yale Avenue. It's flamingo bombing. You'll just wake up one morning and they'll be in your yard. On a quiet street in Richmond Heights, they never thought it could happen here. 41 flamingos. When will it stop? This young couple moved in and they actually had pink flamingos. And then they just started spreading and spreading. And I said to my husband, I said, do you think that they're making fun of me? It's a pink mystery, a pinkstery, wrapped in a quandary, rocking a party hat, wearing a scarf, and occasionally painted blue. My mom doesn't like pink flamingos, so she painted these ones blue, so she could be different, I guess. Mission accomplished. If you're thinking these random acts of flamingo are just flamboyance, you're right. A group of flamingos is called a flamboyance. Eight-year-old Eleanor is flummoxed by the flamingos. I thought it was weird that people just started getting flamingos. What do you like best about them? Because um, they're pink. And because Lucy likes to tweak their beaks. I have no idea who's doing it. It's obviously somebody with uh, is it a little bit cracked, but got a good sense of humor. <laughs> My theory was that it was Ken. I am not the flamingo bomber. And why should we believe you? Uh, yeah, it's a good point. <laughs> the circumstantial evidence seems flimsy. Ken organizes neighborhood block parties. That's how it starts, right? I guess being a block party leader is a gateway to other things, but I have not actually planted any flamingos on anyone's yard. So far, no solution for these silent centuries of mischief, and dare I say it, the T word. I thought they were a little tacky, yeah. <laughs> Has this changed your mind, oh, yeah. or now are they still them. tacky? No, they're pretty tacky still, but we like them. <laughs> and while it may be a solo flamingo prankster, there are theories that it could be a gang of merrymakers who strike at night. And there are reports that residents near Yale Avenue are wondering out loud about why they don't have flamingos. <laughs> Flamingo envy was inevitable. <laughs> Great story, I didn't know Art. they came apart like that. No. Yeah. The beaks come off, and you can leave paint it, them different colors. Leave it to a little girl yeah. to find out.